Yo, 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 you're watching Day Day's Gameplay, and I'm your host, Day Day. You're going to be seeing uh, that, that I do not have my webcam up. That's because I decided that I wanted to try something a little different and just do a commentary over this. Uh, it's not that much of a gameplay, but I wanted to walk through some of the things that we're doing. So that's why you see the, the cam whenever I was streaming versus seeing me talk with the webcam now. First off, I absolutely love this pistol, this ground loot pistol. I can't remember the name of it, but I'm having so much fun with it. Um, dropping into Warzone uh, in this particular match, I get two quick kills out of that red building. I grab a bounty, and I immediately push this guy as hard as I can. In this game, I'm dealing with a lot, a lot of campers. Like, it, this one was just excruciating. So, trying to duck, dodge, dip, duck, and dodge again with this guy. Uh, as I'm trying to plate up, I only got two plates. This guy completely cracks me and obliviates me. And he's just hiding in a window. Of course, right? And there's a guy behind me. So I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard spot. I'm, I'm hoping that guy didn't see me because it looked like he didn't. He looked like he was looking off into the distance. But he does, and he gets the kill. And you see me rage a little bit right there in the cam. All right, my favorite thing, though, when playing this game, I cannot stress it enough, is using a vehicle, right? That guy still thinks that I'm in that car. Throws C4, so I just yeet one over there to him, and it makes it easier for him to kill. I don't think a lot of people use their tacticals and their lethals. Uh, I don't have a tactical other than you having a heartbeat sensor, but if you have stuns, a lot of people forget to use those, and they are the most OP thing in the gun. I, well, I don't think they're overpowered, but they're most underutilized uh, tool that you have while playing this game for sure uh, and I've even forgot about using them when I used to run restock because even if you throw a stun and someone's not where you throw it let's say you're going into a building right you throw it you know they're not in that room so you can leave that room alone or you know they're not in that particular hallway or wherever you threw it you know they're not there so now that that eliminates some of the places where they could be and, and a lot of times, that would just tell you exactly where they're at because there's only two places they could be, right? Uh, See, so there's another perfect example, guy camping on the roof. I saw someone else, but I couldn't find him right here. And he ends up getting in the car and leaving. He's directly below me to my right, and he wasn't on the heartbeat sensor. I think I'm about to go back to using stun since we were just talking about that, going back to that for one second, uh, because the heartbeat sensor... I just don't think I get as much use as I would with stuns, all right? Or even flashes, but I'm not a fan of flash. I'd rather have someone stun where they can't run around, right? If you flash someone while they're running, they can still continue to run. But if they're stunned, it's really hard for them to, they can't really move as much. And then I'm just looking to see if I could find that guy. I, I see where he gets out of the car. So now I know that he is on foot. So that's situational awareness. I'm completely being aware of what my enemy was in. This guy comes flying back in. I don't know what he was thinking. I guess he was thinking that since the gas is right there, there's no way that I'd still be sitting here. But I don't want to run out in front of this guy right here. This is the guy that got in the car because I don't want to have my back to him. So I think that's what his plan was as well. Uh, but I was able to hold off a little bit longer because I had the longer side of the gas versus him having the faster side or AKA shorter side. So... Now I'm just trying to to break him one last time, and then I'm going to go for the push, which is exactly what I do right here. I push him. There's not much room for him to go on the back side of this, so he's got to be on the left. And my slide cancel doesn't work right there. I get a dead slide cancel. I'm surprised that he went for that. I didn't think that he would play to the back of the gas, but that was a really good play by him. Fast forwarding. Uh, and you guys are going to love the ending. Absolutely going to love the ending. Um, this guy, uh, I have a heart, I mean, a UAV up. I'm able to see him. And like within the last two rounds, I'm able to drop him. So, uh, just beaming people out of the car is not that hard. But this is a C58. This is pre nerf, though. So keep that in mind. This is before the mid season, the season four update. I'm not sure when this video will go up due to the fact that I am stockpiling my videos before I go back out to sea. Uh, I wanna, want you guys to have plenty of content to watch while I'm gone so you don't miss anything because uh, I'll be leaving out soon. Uh, I'll be back within a couple of weeks, but 
I want to, uh, I'm stockpiling up on a lot of videos to, to make sure that my video doesn't go a day without a, I mean, my channel doesn't go a day without a video. I did not even know this guy was in here. He was ghosted, but I heard him moving around at the last second. So that's why I went up there and cleared it. Um, moving down here. I know there's a guy in this building, uh, but the gas is coming in so much that I don't want to risk going up there. So I hold him back and I see him pop in the window. Uh, and what actually ends up happening in this video at the end, uh, I edited it out because it is a long drawn out process. Um, this ends up being, I think, my last kill. Uh, yeah, this ends up being my last kill of this game. I end up getting stuck down here. Like, I realize that as I turn around and start running for that car that I'm kind of SOL. Like, I got this whole open space right here. And I'm just bound to die in it. Unfortunately, I do not die into it. And I make it all the way to the other end, but I'm not able to get all the way up before the gas gets me on the next circle. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.